Mm -hmm. uh, hi guys! Hi! My name I'm called Fiona. As you see me today, I'm going to prepare ugari using these banana leaves. Uh, of course, you cannot use them when they are like this. You cannot put ugari here when they are like this. You have to first of all you have to first of all remove this inside your cover like this as you see it like this but you must begin with this because these wedges are sharp they might cut your hand so I request you when you are making it leave it in. After making it like this, then you fold it like this. Ah, uh, by the way, guys, as you see me, Fiona, I'm a Ugandan. So, as you see us in Uganda, everything we cook. We must put this in, especially bananas and the garlic, sweet potatoes, yams. We have to put them in this. So, guys, if you want to be shown how they cook bananas, yams, using these leaves, you can comment down below so that she can show us. Eh? Yes. And by the way, this method is not hard. It is simple. You just use your eyes. You see, then you run. It. After running, when you try it, it comes out. So don't worry to try it. Just wake up one day and say that today let me try to cook the the potion. I'm a ugari using banana leaves. <laughs> it will come out. So, guys, after making the banana leaves, this inside the, I don't know how they are called in English. <laughs> this inside the things, you don't throw them. You pick them one by one, just like this. Not that they are all of them. Then you do like this. Then this one also to pick them because even this one we cannot throw them. We have also the one. I will show you when I'm putting it in here. People will wonder that why is she kneeling down? It's part of our culture. Eh? When you go in our place, there you find people, even when they are eating, they have to sit down before they eat. We have our mats, we put in the sitting room, then all of us we sit, we start to eat. Of course, we must not sit on chairs. So, Fiona, if I may ask, mm -hmm. come and make us care vizuri. So, you're trying to tell us uh, in Uganda, you ladies don't sit on chairs. Um, it's not that all of them are not supposed to sit in chairs, but few. Few, few can sit on chairs, but if you are used of sitting down, you sit. It depends on the family you 
come from? But according to your culture, are you supposed to sit on chair or the mat? We are supposed to sit on mat, not on chairs. So, you personally, mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm too personal, but only that one. Let us get personal only on that part. In your family, are you allowed to sit on chairs? No, we are not allowed, by the way. Okay, thank you for sharing that. I guess you will have uh, to tell us more about your culture, but not today, because today it is meant for cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, if you want her to tell us more about their culture, to share more so that you can understand more about their culture, you can comment down below. Leave a comment. Do you want to hear more of their culture? Like personally, I didn't know that you're not supposed to sit on the chair. But now, I'm hearing it for the first time and actually I'm shocked. Because, eh, kuna wa Kenya wenya wakali kiti kweli. Now to put my yogari. No, Guys, huyu amekuja huku, ameanza tabia zetu. Lazima tupime maji. No wastage of food. Hakuna kubakisha ugali. Yeah, I know what I see here my aunt when, when she wants to cook ugali. I I know what I see her with a cup and water in the jug measuring so that the kosho cannot remain Yona, let me go to me let me go to me let me go to me so that water is enough done okay mm. we need that stuff now mommy let's get it sour Fiona, nini ni na chemuka uko kando? Ini kuku, by the way. Kwa so, tunakula posho na kuku. Hey! Sawa. Leo, takula posho, ugari, na kuku, tunatengeneza. And some greens. Hey! Sawa. Guys, sawa. tupatane majiki chemuka. Yeah.
you first of all make portion to be like orange that portion can be sweet it can slap you <laughs> <laughs> Eh? Umesema lazima maji yachemke na unga kwanza. Eh. For the posho to slap, eh? Hey. To be yummy. Yeah. Ikuwe yeah. ugali moto. Then after that, you add you add flour. Guys, I know you're wondering where are the banana leaves. Kueni wa pole. Banana leaves are coming. Lazima kwanza uwe na kitu ya kueka kwa hiyo banana leaves. And in this case, our kitu ni ugali leo. So kueni wa pole. Hendeleeni kuwatch. Muone at what point are you supposed now to introduce the banana leaves. Guys, I'm here salivating. I can't wait. Fiona and a cook. Yeah. Cooking for us, Ugali. Yeah. yeah, by the way, guys, in Uganda they call it Akaunga. By the way, when you eat Ugali, guys, I will comment down below and tell me. When I eat Ugali, for us, Comment even for us, I'm not sure whether it is Obo Kuma, Obo Kima, Obo Fue. <laughs> Guys, comment down below and tell me. Nim Naitaja Ugali, Fiona Wanaita, Akaunga. Yes, Busima, Obusuma, Obusima. Guys, the meat is ready. The meat is ready for the next stage. Guys, Ugali sasa iko ready for the next stage. Ya kuweka hizo banana leaves. Am I right? Yeah. Tebu geuza tuone mama. See that guys. It can be soft like that. So that when you boil it, when you put in leaves, it will be okay. So, so guys, I put when they work, you get like banana leaves. Then for your stage, in a cage, leaves is ako. What follows after that? Because first stage is over. In the camera, so say your stage ya. Uki boil mboga kabla ukarange ama tuseme uki boil nyama kabla u deep fry ukarange you see yes. now we have boiled our ugali or can we say we have done what the first stage so twende kwa next hiyo stage tumekuwa tukingoja guys ndo hiyo sasa finally uh, so guys these things i told you that you will see the what we should do you first put them down then you add 
this one can protect your water so that it cannot enter in your gari because when water enters in your gari it will become like porridge even if you do not have a taste so after putting those ones you get a small Guys, that pochini would have come here because I need to. I'm a something like, yeah, make a hero. I found the ugali Thailand. Wow, you see guys time to do what now Fiona? After doing like that, you get your water. Cup. Of course you have to measure water. You cannot just put it anyhow. You don't want River Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> How will you know that the water is enough? So you will be using this, this mingling stick to check it. When you put it like this, then you remove when it has no water, you know that there is no water. But if you put, then you remove when it has water, you will know still. And when it is about to get over, still it will show you that it is a to get over. When you cover it with this sphere, the glass will not, of course, will not go out, will not come out. It will remain inside to make that portion be sweet. Guys, Melo Kenyana Manisha, the flavor. If I'm not wrong, eh? Am I wrong, Fiona? No, I mean you want uh, the ugali to have that flavor of the leaves. Yes, it remains with the smell of the leaves. Okay, guys, I can't wait to have a taste of this. Then I will tell you. Is that 
time to check water you see it is over so when it is over you need to add, to add another one you know this portion needs time you cannot hold like this for only three minutes you are removing no that's why we are using jiko guys Already I have tomatoes and onions in the oven. Do I have to cook it? Kiona dania jua mambo iko sawa. Yeah guys, that's it. Kote sasa kufula. It's ready, it's ready. Tunaito Anisha, guys. Hmm? Nabuza Kumaji, the cool of the hand. Guys, final product. Nayona. Yo, Mimi do Kionj, the best. You're missing out, guys. If you keep on subscribing to this channel, maze turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any videos whenever we post. Because babu maze, you're missing out. You guys, you're missing out. Till next time.